Imagine an array of musicians, a saxophonist, trumpeter, bassist, and drummer passionately playing a symphony of music. This is jazz. Jazz is characterized by propulsive, syncopated rhythms, polyphonic ensemble playing, varying degrees of improvisation, and often deliberate distortions of pitch and timbre. Although jazz can be played on any instrument, including the human voice, the most common instruments on which jazz is played are the saxophone, trumpet, trombone, piano, bass, drums, and guitar. Many of these instruments are fabricated from a brass alloy. Through the perspective of a chemist, brass is a metal composed primarily of copper and zinc. Brass is stronger and harder than copper, but not as hard or strong as steel. It is easy to form into various shapes, a good conductor of heat, and generally resistant to corrosion from salt water. In fact, the copper-zinc alloy, also known as brass, goes back billions of years. During the formation of the universe some 14 billion years ago, and what astronomers have identified as the Big Bang, only the lightest elements were formed, hydrogen and helium, along with trace amounts of lithium and beryllium. As a cloud of cosmic dust and gases from the Big Bang cooled, stars formed, and these then grouped together to form galaxies. The other 86 elements found in nature were created in nuclear reactions in these stars and in huge stellar explosions known as supernovae. During the supernova, the star releases very large amounts of energy, as well as neutrons, which allows elements heavier than iron, such as copper and zinc, to be produced. In the supernova explosion, all of these elements are expelled out into space. Moreover, through the globalization of the four world zones, society became more connected than ever before. As this occurred, increasingly large trade networks developed. Were it not for these often tragic and impactful trade networks, jazz may not exist today. For instance, the transatlantic slave trade. Through the perspective of a historian, from 1619 to well into the 1800s, slaves, primarily from the central and western settings of Africa, were sold to European slave traders and shipped to the New World, specifically colonies in North and South America. While those involved in the slave trade strive to serve everything away from their victims, they, for the most part, allow them to keep their music as a singing slave was a happy slave, who would therefore be less likely to cause an uprising. During the transatlantic slave trade, certain aspects of European culture were forced upon the African slaves. However, they strive to maintain at least some of their own cultural beliefs and practices, leading to the development of the ultimately unique African American culture, or black culture. Music, art, literature, and many other cultural forms have been influenced and continue to be impacted upon today by the wide diversity and dynamism of the African American culture, which could not have been achieved without the contributions of the slaves throughout the history of the transatlantic slave trade. Furthermore, groups of African slaves began to sing work songs, which served as a distraction from the physical pain and as a release of emotional stress. In fact, listening to jazz music has potential benefits for your health, as varied as the genre itself. Through the perspective of a psychologist, the innovative riffs, harmonic tones, and intricate rhythms of jazz can bring natural relief for the mind, body, and soul. For instance, listening to jazz can actually have an effect on the type of brainwaves you produce, which can either be stimulating or relaxing. Listening to the distinctive syncopation of some jazz can bring about the theta brainwaves. Additionally, because stress is the root of many health problems, the relaxing effects of jazz music can have incredible healing influences. It physically changes the human body as it lowers our heart and respiratory rate. Studies pertaining to the field of biology have shown that upbeat music such as jazz can lower blood pressure by causing blood vessels to expand by up to 30%. Also, listening to jazz for 30 minutes has been proven to boost immunoglobulin A, also known as IgA levels. IgA resides in the mucous linings of the body and acts as an antibody, preventing viruses. On a side note, the Industrial Revolution originating in Europe from 1780s to the 1840s impacted many and led to a new improved world. The Industrial Revolution significantly changed jazz due to the concept of interchangeable parts. The concept of interchangeable parts was originally used in the weapons industry, enabling unskilled workers to produce large quantities of weapons faster and at lower costs. It also made the repair replacements of parts infinitely easier. As time progressed, the concept of interchangeable parts was applied to the mass production of instruments such as saxophones. Due to the concept of interchangeable parts, jazz instruments such as the saxophone were manufactured more quickly. Furthermore, while it's feasible to connect revolutions of society with revolutions of sound, most jazz musicians have a tendency of avoiding overt socio-political statements. Jazz was initially a subversive music, particularly with regards to oppressive or totalitarian regimes. Amid Soviet times, jazz generally was an underground music. There was virtually no jazz on the Melodia label, a major record company of the Soviet Union, and no jazz clubs, concerts, or festivals to hear the music in a live setting. As previously mentioned, times are different and what jazz represents in various cultures has changed over the span of only a few generations. At the point when jazz was first introduced onto the world, it was a revelation, a blessing composed by African American musicians. It was a symbol of the new age, another sensibility, another approach to music, dance, and syncopation but also to thought in the possibility of collective improvisation with a cutting-edge knowledge. Once more, it has changed in some significant ways. Similarly, as in a realm of art, the pendulum in jazz has moved forward and backwards amongst deliberation and representation, absorbing conventions and styles from different genres and other cultures. Now, this dialect of jazz can be heard as it is played everywhere throughout the world with various accents. Jazz has identifiable history and distinct stylistic evolution. The timeline of jazz style development has evolved significantly spanning three centuries through collective learning. 
Collective learning being the ability of a species to retain more information with one generation than it is lost by the next is what has transformed African rhythms into syncopated rhythms, polyphonic ensemble playing, varying degrees of improvisation, and often deliberate distortions of pitch and timbre we know as jazz. Much like the evolution of humans from our universal common ancestor Luca, jazz has developed and evolved into a variety of branches, per se. Since its birth, well over two dozen distinct jazz styles have emerged, all of which are actively played today. Popular music and commercial dance music has previously been very white and derived from European styles. But with the rise of ragtime, blues, and jazz, a black approach to rhythm and harmony began to seep in. In the 1920s in the US, it was prohibition times. This time, also known as the Roaring Twenties, was marked by a modernist sensibility in the arts, especially after the World War when things were changing at a very fast rate. It meant something different in the 30s to 50s, and especially in the late 50s to 70s, when some musicians expressed political statements with their music. These were explicit musical statements about segregation and civil rights. During the 1980s, the jazz timeline continued to evolve on a somewhat lateral direction with a multitude of influences, the most significant of which was the retro servicing of its own roots and styles. With an emergence of innovative young players revitalizing the creative spirits and the consistent increase of jazz, purists from the USA, Europe, and abroad, the necessary energy and passion for creativity has continued to grow. Except for possibility of jazz rap, M-bass, and the European house dance music, significant change in the timeline of jazz style has not occurred since. The variety of jazz styles, however, couldn't have just appeared out of nowhere. Certain artists needed to pioneer these styles or genres, and through their success, these genres were crafted and gained popularity. The biggest names of the jazz age, past, present, and future, can be measured by their popularity, innovation, originality, and success. Miles Davis, Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington, John Coltrane, Ella Fitzgerald, Charlie Parker, Billie Holiday, Thelonious Monk, Bill Evans, and Oscar Peterson are only a few of jazz's most popular musicians. These men and women crafted the modern concept of jazz through hard work and determination for their craft, and chances are these pioneers have graced your ears before if you are anything of a fan of jazz music. Born of African rhythm, the spiritual call and response, and other American musical traditions, jazz was the dominant influence on this country's popular music. Given jazz's extensive history, one thing is for sure, jazz remains America's only original living art form. Today, its influence envelops the globe. It's expressive. It's enriching. Call it what you like, jazz is here to stay. Bounce.